Hello, this is Susan Woodcock at Workroom Tech and Trial, North Carolina. And I wanted to follow up on the Gromit episode on the So Much More podcast, 30 Minutes with Workroom Tech, where I talked about creating fixed spacing on a grommet drapery. And you would want to do that on a functioning grommet drapery so that when it's opened and closed, you still get that serpentine look across the window. Instead of it pulling really, really flat where you're on the end where you're pulling it and then staying sort of serpentine towards the bracket. So this would give you fixed spacing somewhat like a pleated drapery with pleats and spaces as it traverses across a drapery rod. To do that, I've added gimp braid, which is hand stitched in the spaces that go behind the rod. So every other space, it's tacked and tacked at the side hems here and here. And you could use something other than grow grain ribbon. You could use, um, or other than gimp braid, you could use grow grain ribbon. You could use a cord. Um, you could make a small banding out of the face fabric or the lining fabric. You can even use ladder tape like you would use with Roman shades. If you're unsure of the spacing, because you do want um, to have it correct so that the draperies meet in the center, then you could also use a shearing tape, sew it on to the spaces um, that go to the back of the rod while the grommet drapery is still flat on the work table. And then when you get to the job site, you can pull up the cords and create customized spacing, tie the cords off, and that'll give you the opportunity to figure it out on the job site. So I hope this tip has helped you and that you've enjoyed listening to the So Much More podcast, 30 Minutes with Workroom Tech. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, I'd love to hear from you. You can send me an email at susan at workroomtech.com. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.